All right, today we are going to take a quick look at the GF93 AE from Zotac, and this is a really nice board on board GeForce 9300. So if you don't know the 9300 GeForce chipset, what's really good about it is it lets you do 1080p. It'll actually let you do about two 1080p Blu-rays at the same time, decoding-wise. So it's not going to be the CPU. You don't have to have a graphics card, but uh, if you so desire, you can definitely add one. So that's really cool. On top of that, uh, it's a micro ATX board. It's got four DIMMs, um, socket 775. It's really up to you how much process you want to throw in here, but you are not limited by this board. Up to a 1,333 megahertz front side bus means your E84 hundreds, uh, your Q9550s, all those are going to fit on here no problem. Dual core, quad cores, you can even put a Pentium on here if you so desired. Now, what's really cool is also they have four DIMMs on this MicroATX board, so you can put up to 16 gigabytes of DDR2 memory up to 800 megahertz. I really doubt anybody would want that. You'd probably want to stick to the two gigabyte DIMMs and put four in here or maybe just even two and run some XP on here. Uh, with that 9300 mobile chipset also, what's really cool to know is that you do have an HDMI in the back right there, so that's really cool. And because it's the 9 series chipset instead of the 8 series, you're actually going to get audio through here, which is incredible. Uh, that's going to be 7.1 channels of HD audio are going to come through this one little port directly directly to your TV or to your receiver, that's going to make you very, very happy. And if that doesn't work out for you, well, you do have this coaxial SP diff right here, which, eh, you may or may not use. Uh, also on the back panel, you got a PS2 over here. You got your VGA and your DVI. You got four USB 2.0s, your 10 100 1000 Ethernet, and your analog uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jacks for your 7.1 channel HD audio. Now, since we just talked about USB, I just want you to know that right over here, you do have two more headers for USB. Uh, we'll actually have four more headers in total, uh, so it's going to give you up to eight additional USB, bringing the board total to 12, which is a ridiculous, ridiculously large number. You also have uh, extra headers for FireWire, which you almost never, ever, ever see on a board, especially one of this size and of this price. Um, you do have on, off, and reset buttons right over here. Let me move my hand. You have an LCD poster, which is incredible. You got floppy and IDE, which is not so incredible. Who really cares? Uh, also over here, you're going to notice you do have two SATA ports over here and an additional four up here at the top, bringing your total to six. Those are going to do just about every RAID option you want. Zero, one, zero, plus one, and five, um, which is highly impressive. Now, moving along to the other thing that everybody loves to see on video cards uh, or on motherboards is how many slots does it have? This is a PCI Express 2.0 X16 slot, so your latest and greatest graphics cards are going to fit on here. You also have two PCI standard slots, and up here at the top, you have a PCI Express X1 for your TV tuners, your sound cards, or whatever you want to throw on there. Really, really powerful board. That GeForce 9300 graphics is incredible. It's very power efficient. Um, it will decode a Blu-ray. It will do all that good stuff. It will even play some basic games. It does support DirectX 10, Shader Model 4.0, and hybrid SLI. So if you have a, a, a chip on here, a card on here, and you're using the 9300 and it supports hybrid SLI, it's going to pretty much use this when you're not doing anything important. And then when you're needing a little more horsepower in the graphics field, you're doing some uh, stuff with SLI or playing a game or you know decoding a Blu-ray, it's going to kick in and ask for the assistance of the extra graphics card. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to have that graphics card. You can get this board put some memory in it, put a CPU, and put a hard drive, hook it up to your computer or your television, and you're good to go. Very, very nice board. It's the GF9300 AE. It's a micro ATX board, 775 from Zotac. If you guys have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll uh, see you guys shortly. For more information on the Zotac GF9300 AE, type in Z700-2000 into the search engine of any of these major retailers. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.